Hello, this is Kevin Olson from TextLearn.com, and this is Review Exercise 6.8, the Integer List Program. So the instructions here say we are to create a program which allows you to save integers to, oops, create a program which allows you to save integers to an array list. When the user types negative one, the program should save the array list of integers to a file. When it runs the program again, we should load that save list, print out its contents, and allow the user to add more entries to the list. Suggested methodology is to check if the file exists, load its contents into an array list, then we'll use a scanner to add integer elements to that array list, and finally, we'll save that array list to a file when the user types negative one, and we'll make sure all the streams and whatnot are closed. The sample output here on the first run it says welcome to integer list, no values have been saved, and that's a typo there, I'll have to fix that. Please enter values, type negative one to save and exit, then the user will type in some values, they type negative one, and it saves that array list to a file. On the second run, it goes ahead and it loads those values, and then it allows us to add some more values to that array list. We type negative one, and it saves the old values and the new values to a file. So then on the third run, it would print out all six of these values and again allow the user to enter more values into that array list. So let's see here. I will create a new Java project and I'm going to call this 6.8 review. And we'll add a class to this and I will call this integer list with a main method. Okay, let me just clear out that console. So the first thing we're going to do is print out a message that says welcome to welcome to integer list system out print line welcome to integer list okay semicolon and now we have to determine if the file exists and try to load it up so let's do a try and a catch exception e and e dot print stack trace Okay, so we're going to try to determine if file exists. So we'll have a file object file, file array file equals new file, and let's call this file array file.txt. Simple enough. Okay, and I have to import file from Java IO. I'll use the Eclipse quick fix there and do that. Now I have that imported up there. And we can now use the exists to determine if file exists. So let's put an if in here. So if array file dot exists, we will load the contents. So load contents of array file. And if the file does not exist, so we'll put an else in here. And that just will print out a message that says, let's see here, no values have been no values have been saved. And we will create that new file. So file dot create new file. Okay. Now we will load the contents of that array into an array list. So we will have to have a file input stream. Fis equals new file input stream. And we will pass that the array files to open that up. And I have to import that, so we'll use a quick fix and import that. And then we will have an input stream reader. ISR, input stream reader equals new. Input stream reader, and we're going to read that file input stream. And we'll have a buffered reader. Buff read equals new, buffered reader. And we will read that input stream. So let's go ahead and import the import stream reader and the buffered reader. And then we'll have to get a string. So string array contents CSV, comma separated values, equals buff read dot read line. So we'll read that first line, which will contain the array values into that string. So now we have a string with all those values in it as a comma separated list. So we'll have to split that up. So we'll split the contents and add to array list. So I'll have to have string array 
um, and we'll call this array contents again um, as a string. And we will use the array contents dot CSV dot split and we're going to split that by comma. So we split that up. So now we have a string array with all the contents and then we have to loop through that and add it to an array list. So let's create an array list up here. So array list of type integer and we'll call this in array list equals new array list of type integer parentheses semicolon and I need to import the array list. So we import that. So now we have all those imported up there. We are ready to add values into that array list. So for each, let's see, I can do this with a for each, yep. So for each string s in our array contents string, we will add each string, well, we will convert each string into an integer and we will add it to our array list. So we will use int array list dot add and we have to add a so we'll have to use integer dot parse int from the string s. So we take each string, we convert it into an integer, and we add that to our array list. So now we have all the contents in that array list. So we can print that out as well. We might as well do that now. So for int i equals zero, i is less than int array list dot size, i increments by one, and we print out the contents. So at the top here, we can print a message that says system out print line, we're loading contents, and it loads all the contents and prints them out from that array list. We could print them out from the string if we wanted to, but the goal is to make sure that the array list is working. So let's do it using that. So we'll do system out print line in array list dot get and we will get the index. So we're printing out each integer in that array list. And we can close all those input readers and whatnot. So close that stuff up here. So after we're finished reading that string, we can go ahead and close buffered read, buffer read dot close isr.close and fist.close. We close those guys up there. We split it up. We add each element in the string array to the integer array list and then we print out the content. So that, that looks pretty good to me. And let's test that out just to see we should be working incrementally. So I'm not just gonna write the whole entire program at once, even though I did write a considerable amount there without doing any testing. So let's create a new file called arrayfile.txt in the project directory, and we will go ahead and test it out to see if it successfully loads into that array list. So arraylist test, or arraylist.txt, and let's say 12, 32, 43, I'm just typing random numbers in here. Okay, so I'll save that, and we'll try running the program and see if it works. Welcome to integer list. No values have been saved. So array list, okay, it's called array file. That's the difference there. Oops, array file.txt, it created that for me. So let's change the name of this to array file.txt, and that has my testing values in it. Now we'll run it again. And it says, welcome to integer list, loading contents. And we'll check that against the file. And it did successfully load every single element into that array list for us. So now we have an array list made and it loaded the contents successfully. So the next thing we're going to have to do is determine or is get those values and have the user enter in additional values to that array to that array list. So let me move this down so you can see a little more. Okay. So after the try there, no, after the if there, let's do it. Let's do everything in the try block, might as well. So let's see here. Okay. So after we finish loading it, and if it's not there, we create the new file. 
now we are going to add more elements to array list. So system out print line and what message did I want to put in there? Let me look at the example. Okay, so we're going to say please enter values, type negative one to save and exit. So we're going to have to create a scanner. Scanner user input equals new scanner system dot input stream and we have to import the scanner class. So we'll import that from Java Utilities. And then we will go ahead and the user can start entering values. So we'll have an integer entered value and we'll just say while entered value is not equal to negative one. So once the type negative one it exits, oops, not well, enter value, entered value is not equal to negative one and we'll set that to zero initially. Okay. So entered value is going to be equal to the user input dot next integer. So they type an integer in there. Oops. And we add that integer that they entered to the array list. So let's see here. And we have to make sure they didn't type negative one because we're not adding negative one to the content. So if entered value is not equal to negative one, we go ahead and add that to our array list. So what did I call that array list? Int array list. So int array list dot add, and we will add the entered value to that array list. Okay, so that should work there. They type negative one and it's done with that. So now the only thing left is to save and exit. So to save this, what we will do is we will we have to have a file output stream file output stream equals new file output stream and we have our array file that we're using for our output stream and the file output stream has to be imported so we import that then we have an output stream writer osw equals new oops equals new output stream writer and we are writing to the file output stream. So we import the output stream writer and now we can use that guy. So let's see here. So we'll just use osw.write and we will write the int array list. So actually I forgot, of course, that we have to convert that array list back into a back into a string. So let's do that here. Actually, let's do that before we do the saving. So we convert an array list into a single string. So string save me. I'll just call it that. Leave it as blank for now. And then for integer i equals zero, i is less than int array list dot length oops dot size and i increments by one and then we go ahead and save me plus equals int array list dot get and we're getting i plus a comma so we're adding that comma separated list to the file so that's now all in save me and now we can write that string to the file. So now we've written that to the file. We flush out that flush, output stream writer dot close and fos dot close. That looks like it will save an exit and we'll just print out a message dot system out print line saved. Okay, I hope this works. Let's give it a whirl. And let's delete the original file as well, just so we're starting from scratch. So 6.8 review, arrayfile.txt, delete. We'll run the program again. Okay, welcome to integer list. No values have been saved. Please enter values. So let's say I enter 10, 20, and 30, and I type negative 1. It says saved. Let's see if it saved successfully. It did, 10, 20, 30. 
Now we run the program again, it loads the contents, it says 10, 20, 30, and let's do 40, 50, 60, type negative 1, and it says saved. Let's look at the file again, and now it has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in there. We run the program a third time, it loads all those values again, and now I'll just start entering really random numbers. Negative 1, saved. We run the program again and it prints all those out. So you get the idea there. So I believe that is all that there was to this exercise. I hope I explained everything all right. If you have any suggestions or you need any additional help, feel free to leave a comment on the website or the YouTube video. There's also forms on my website as well. So again, thanks for watching and take care.